Hey everyone, how's it going? So, been a while since the last video, but uh, I've got a whole bunch of new stuff, and I have a lot more coming. So, um, just want to show you guys some stuff that I got recently. Um, show you some designs I've done, some patches, some pens, and then uh, discuss some sharpening stuff. So, um, uh, where should I start? Um, so here, let's start with this. So. Um, I got myself a new hat. Um, I have uh, three of these now. <laughs> uh, every time one gets a little crappy, I just buy another one from White Mountain Knives. Like 14 bucks. So, new Maxace hat. I have like, uh, yeah, I think this is my third or fourth one. <laughs> so, a new one of those. I should have bought a couple more actually because it's probably going to go out of stock soon. Um... Patches. Um, I got some new patches from uh, Prometheus Design Works. These are their merit patches. I have another frog one coming and like a, a tree one. So, cool new patches. I know you guys have heard me say a thousand times, these patches are fantastic. Um, I did actually find a company that sells, that had like 200 in stock. But, uh, and I picked out like 10 of them. They had like awesome prices. And I went to go check out. And they were from Canada. And shipping was $45. So I decided to say screw that. And I didn't buy any of them. Because I'm not going to pay $45 for shipping. <laughs> so that kind of sucked. I was looking at those patches for literally like 3 hours. I had like 25 of them in my cart. And I narrowed it down to like 10 or something. 9 or 10. And then I come to find out shipping was damn near 50 bucks. So I didn't buy any. So those are the cool new merit patches. Um, kind of have like a ramen noodle theme going here. Kind of funny because I love ramen noodles. So um, yeah. So I might make like a ramen pouch. I don't know. We'll see. Um, what else? Oh, uh, did I get a new Kraken patch? No, I didn't. So, and like these patches, these cracked ones, still try to find more of these. I had four, on that Canadian website, I had four more of those in the cart. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't get them. I probably will just buy them. I know 50 bucks is crazy for shipping, but these patches, guys, are actually super hard to find. Uh, Knife Center has a couple, but they're just, I mean... You see them everywhere, but the ones on my Canadian website were ones that I've never seen before. And they had them all the way back to 2019 patches, so they had the old ones, which were, like, super cool looking. Um, okay, let's talk about some pens. So, um, I don't know if anyone knows this or not, but my girlfriend, she has muscle dystrophy, and she is a pre-K teacher. So, I wanted to find her something that she could use in the classroom... And I came across this Olight Pen. Um, this is the Olight Pen Pro. Um, what's really cool about this is that it's, it's lightweight, right? It's rechargeable. It has a, a laser. So with my girlfriend being a pre-K teacher, she needs to have a laser pointer to point, you know, to things on the chalkboard or to a book or, you know, who, who knows what, because she can't use her hands because she, and she's also in a wheelchair, so she can't walk. So she needs something to di direct the kids with and show them stuff, and this works perfect. So her laser right now is kind of big and bulky. Um, also, there's a pen on here, which is nice. So she has a she doesn't have to carry a separate pen. And also, there is a flashlight, which I think we just push. I do the flashlight again. Uh, hold on. There we go. There's a flashlight too. This has like five different powers to it. I don't really know how the hell you work this. There we go. Yeah, I see bright, bright, brighter. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So kind of cool. A little pen. Um, these are kind of pricey. Um, I mean, for what it is, you know, it, I think it was with taxes like 85 bucks. So, um... Yeah, kind of pricey, but, I mean, it's pretty cool. If it helps her out, you know, I'm willing to buy whatever. But she's going to try this out on Tuesday and see how it works. And uh, hopefully it works out okay for her. So, one pen. And I got another pen. I got myself a pen. Of course, a Tucson pen. Because I have an obsession with Tucson for some reason. 
Which actually, uh, on that obsession, I'm starting not to like Tucson. And I will tell you why in a second. So this is the Tucson pen that I got. I don't know if this is the new design, because I really I haven't seen this one before. Um, I got this from White Mountain Knives. As soon as I saw it, um, I scooped it up. Um, super. So I so all this stuff I did look at already. Um, I haven't looked at this. Uh, this is a PMP knife. I'll show you this. I haven't um, I haven't um, checked that out yet. But the, the pen and then these knives and this. Well, you'll see. But. I already looked at this already, so yeah, pretty cool pen. Very easy to use. So this is titanium. It weighs like nothing, maybe like a three quarter ounce. Um, I just wanted another like like a. Uh, so a lot of the pens I have by Tucson are like these like ridiculous, absurd ones, like this one. I have uh, what is that other one? I have this one, this flame titanium, kind of Timascus looking thing. I have another one that's kind of crazy, and another one that's kind of crazy, and I just wanted something just more basic, you know, for like a, like a, kind of like a gentleman's carry pen. You know, something just basic. So, I, I bought this, this was like 30 bucks. It seems like a lot of the two cent pens are between 25, well, they have the mini ones that are like 20 bucks, but the, the full size ones are between like... 25 and 40 bucks so or well 25 and 50 bucks I should say actually you know why am I putting that back in there I have no idea so let's just put that up into my little pen drawer so yeah just wanted something a little bit different so there's that this can go in my box pile which is filling up man I probably have like 85 boxes down here oh yeah yeah okay um I don't know if I showed this yet um, I, I finally bought a Kaiser. I don't know if I showed this on the last video. Um, let's just say I finally bought a Kaiser. I finally bought a Cormorant. So, I saw a lot of people going crazy over that, uh, that Nebula, Fat Carbon, and LMAX one. But a lot of people seem to overlook this one. This is the Black Fat Carbon and S90V. So... In my opinion, S90V is far better than LMAX, but that's just me. As long as it's heat treated correctly. Um, this one, unfortunately, came with really bad bevels. Um, that tape. I put a mirror polish on here, as you can see. But down here, so when they when they, when they did their grinding, it was the bevel is great, and then right here, it, it like it disappeared. Like it just like stopped. So I had to, yeah, it was kind of stupid. I should have just sent it back, but I thought I could fix it. I kind of got it somewhat. I didn't want to take too much metal off, so I'm just going to leave it like it is. I, I Actually, I put a smiley on it, but whatever. Um, yeah, they, they literally missed an eighth of an inch of, of grinding back here. And it just kind of like went from good, like, nice bevel to nothing. Just like stopped. Like they... Forgot to grind the... I don't know what the hell happened, but... This side's good. This side, they, they did nice. And I just, uh... I did the same angle. Um, and I just, uh... I did, uh... 300, 600, uh... 1200, 1500... Uh, 6 micron, 3 micron... And, uh, I stropped it just two times on each side with, uh... 0.25 micron. So... So, yeah. Um, I actually love this thing. This thing is so fidgety. I don't, I don't know if it comes across on camera now, but it has a great ting to it. Front flipper, uh, back flipper, reverse flick. Thumb flick is kind of difficult, but, I mean, it's doable. But, yeah, super cool knife. I really like that, actually. And I love this black fat carbon. I'm really happy that this side doesn't have a lot of this white. I like that it's more black. I saw that uh, Tri-State got one of these, and his is more white up here. I really like the black. It has like an oil slick sheen to it. Yeah, really cool. I'll probably do a review on this, a more in-depth review. So, um, Speaking of sharpening, I just want to let you guys know that um, 
I might start doing sharpening on the channel. So I've been doing a lot of stuff on Instagram showing my sharpening. I just want to show you guys the this guy. I took this to uh, 0.25 micron, which I think is... Man, I'm not sure what that grit is. I know it's way up there, like 160,000 grit, I think. I don't know. It's super high up there. But I uh, just want to show you. This one took me a long time to do, actually. This one took me like five hours somehow. I don't know how it took so long, but... Yeah, this one turned out beautiful. I don't know if the camera really does it justice, but... Yeah, it came out great. This is D2. This is the Six Leaf SL... Uh... Oh, hell. What is this thing? The SL18 button lock. Um, Yeah, cool little button lock. 45 bucks. They actually did a pretty good job on this. Uh, I didn't like it at first, but... Um, it broke in pretty nicely, actually. So, yeah. So, that's that. So, yeah, might show more sharpening. Might show more... Ugh. I can't talk. Might show more sharpening on the channel. So, um, I already showed this. This is that Timascus Demco. So, let's just put that off to the side. And, by the way, that Timascus Demco is for sale. Um, if you're interested, shoot me a DM and we can talk about it. I will consider trades too. So, um, you yeah, know, I'll just talk about it real quick. So, yeah, I'm going to sell this. Um, I will consider trades depending on what it is. It has factory uh, edge. Um, I was told that this is one out of 100 that is factory Timascus. Um, the reason why I'm selling it is that I, I, I thought this was my grail. But I effing hate this shark lock. Shark lock. I hate it. I, I hate it. I, I don't like it at all. <laughs> I really don't like it. I should have borrowed someone's uh, Demco to try out that shark lock. It just rips my finger up. And, and I don't want to. So I was talking to someone and they said just to take a file and file off these gyms. But I, this is a super expensive knife and I don't want to do that, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to ruin the value on that. So, so yeah, if anyone wants it, shoot me a DM. We'll talk about price or trades or whatever, and, uh, maybe we can work something out. So, um, let's see. I bought some fixed blades. So, this one is just a cheapie. I just thought it looked super cool. Uh, this is, uh, sawmill cutlery. It's just a cheapie made in Pakistan. It was only 10 bucks. But, like, look how thick this thing is, man. It's like quarter inch. Super thick, very aggressive. Yeah, it's crazy looking. But you know what? It's super freaking comfortable for a fixed blade. It's really nice, actually. It's just cheapy. I can already tell that it's, you know... Yeah. Like, it's not even straight here. And the pebbles, like, look at this. You see those? <laughs> you see the grinding? It's, like, off by a sixteenth of an inch. It was 10 bucks, you know. I, I just wanted something I can use camping just to, you know, beat stuff up with and, you know, whatnot. So, this is cheapy. But for 10 bucks, it's pretty nice for 10 bucks. Um, and speaking of fixed blades, I bought another fixed blade. This is a Topps Scalpel. Um, shit. The steel. I think this steel was A2. Crap. Dang it. What was the steel again? Does it say on here? Crap. I think it was A2 or 440C or AB, ABL or something like that. But it was, um, it has a really nice thick finish on this. Like, super thick coating. Which I kind of like. Kind of feels like, uh, coating that you would feel like on a, uh, like truck liner, truck bed liner. <laughs> It's really thick and bumpy. It's kind of cool, actually. Very nice grippiness. Um, yeah, I just wanted something small that I could wear on the front, like this, on my pants. You know, just have it pop down like this on the side of my pants so I can grab it easily. I just miss carrying a, uh, a fixed blade, a small fixed blade. So, I got this guy. So, yeah, really nice. The sheath is very nice. Clicks in, super nice. Yeah, so, yeah, there's that. Alright, so, I don't know if you guys saw my video on uh, my knives that I bought, like, my favorite buys. 
the knife of the year I had was the, uh, well, in my, my opinion that I bought was the Canadian Knife Company Sleeper. And I bought another one. <laughs> uh, just to have it, you know. They're not making many of these, and uh, I just wanted to have another one. So I bought myself another one. So, yeah, this one I'm going to uh, just keep how it is and just, just to have it. This knife is so good. Like, it really is. This knife for, for 90 bucks. I don't think anything came out this year that even comes close to this quality for 90 bucks. I, I, I didn't try every knife under 90 bucks, but from seeing reviews on other knives and uh, um, friends' knives and this and that and this, you know, all that, it, it's very hard to beat this knife. So, I bought another one. Um, uh, let's see. So, let's look at this knife. So, uh, so PM, so White Gun Knives was running a, a, a sale on this. This is a PMP User 2. Um, I have not looked at it yet. Uh, they were originally like $190. They had them for $125, plus you could use a 10% discount. It came out to like $112. Bucks. So I decided why not, I'll try it. So, nice, uh... Smell test. Yeah, that smells like leather. Yeah, leather case. Oh, nice smooth zipper. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. That's a nice little pouch, actually. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. So, here's the knife. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Oh, wow. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I really like this, uh, so I have another knife that has the same color, where is that, this guy, this Migron, uh, Pegos has like the same like, uh, titanium and this blue color, I really like that combination, that's the main reason why I bought this one, um, I really like that color combo, this is a front flipper only, uh, judging by this jimping, it's not going to be easy to do. This jimping is not front flipper jimping. <laughs> At all. Oh, boy. Dang it. Oh, boy. Yeah, that is not front flipper jimping. Jeez. <sighs> it's really hard to do. Oh, my goodness. Why don't these companies, like... Like, do their research a little bit more on... Like, look at that, man. Tears your finger up. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe it'll get better as it breaks in, but this is not, uh... Yeah. That chipping is terrible. It really is. But it is what it is. I, I love this design. It's so cool looking, you know? Such a nice, sleek knife. Um, the titanium is pretty thin. Yeah, really thin titanium, actually. Um, it is an S90V. That's the main reason why I bought this, was the S90V. Um, I have been on an S90V buying spree, actually. I have a whole bunch, well, not a whole bunch. I have, like, three more coming. So, an S90V. I've just uh, been, so I've, I've been sharpening an S90V. Um, I did my, my uh, Griptilian that I have in S90V. Um, and some others, and like on the stone, that stuff feels great, man, on the stone, on sharpening stones, um, it's really fun to sharpen, actually, it's kind of hard, but, uh, it's really fun, actually, um, and plus S90V has, like, super high edge retention, um, it's just an all-around great steel, and, uh, I want to buy more of it, so, yeah. Main reason why I bought this. It's kind of it's a cool knife. Um, I'll probably do a review on it. Um, I can already tell you right now that the uh, review is not going to be the best in the world because, man, this front flipper guy is awful. It's so bad. Top of the on top of the front flipper being bad, I got lock stick too on here. Yeah, a little bit of lock stick. I'm sure that will break in. I'm sure that will go away. But yeah, man, that look at that. Like caramba, that thing's gonna tear me up. Oh boy. Okay. Well, 
My first impressions on this are not good so far, <laughs> but it is what it is. Well, I mean, I can't, I'm not going to judge anything until this knife has been broken in, until I've carried it for a week. And then I'll give my, like, full review on it, but it's hard to, it's hard to give her, like, it's hard to give any, like, criticism on a knife until you've used it and carried it, um, and, uh, um, um, really tested the knife out fully, you know, um, but just my first impression so far, I, I don't like it too much, but, uh, I mean, that can change, that can totally change, just like this knife, the, the Pagos, this knife, I did not like this at first, the action sucked, um, I didn't like the Ergos too much, but, uh, I grew to love this knife, and the action now is ridiculous, like, look at this, <laughs> it's still a drop shutting now, so maybe it'll change. So this is the PMP user 2 titanium and S90B. So yeah, we'll see what this is like in a week. Um, and speaking of knives I'm getting, so I have some exciting knives I've got or I'm getting. I ordered a Spartaco smock. Um, and with that smock, I'm gonna do a crazy build on it. I'm gonna buy some black zirconium scales. Um, a Zircotai backspacer, a Zircotai uh, a button, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to find some Mokutai or Zircotai hardware, um, I have yet to find that yet, and then I'm going to do, uh, uh, the clip is going to be Zircotai, I'm going to get the blade acid washed, um, and I think that's about it. Oh, and the Zukutai uh, lanyard plug. So, um, that's if I decide not to go... If I did, So, the scales I found come with the lanyard covered and then the... Like a... Like a... Like no lanyard hole. And then there is lanyard hole. So, I just... I'm not sure which one I want to go with. So, um... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But that knife is coming soon. I'm going to start buying the stuff for it probably in about a month, and uh, we're going to build, I'm going to wait till I get all the pieces, and we're going to do the build right here on the channel, so that should be super fun. Also, I have another knife coming that uh, I've been uh, dreaming of, and I finally was able to buy one. I have the, uh, Luft, the Luft Concepts Avant coming in titanium with uh, zircotai, I mean zircotai, zirconium backspacer and pivot collar. Um, I was really wanting the um, the E knives exclusive one, but uh, I just know that's going to be way expensive. It hasn't got released yet, but it has like the zircotai backspacer and pivot collar. I just know that's going to be super expensive. So I I knew it was going to be on my price range, and plus. It's all blacked out, and I really don't like black blades. I like the satin look, because I really like looking at the, the 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 grind lines, and when it's PVD coated or anything like that, you, you can't see all that stuff. So, um, so uh, DLT has them in stock right now. They're kind of pricey. They're three fifty, but what you're getting for three fifty, um, I think it's a great deal actually. Um, I, I can't wait to get that knife. So that's coming up Monday. So. And uh, the smock, I think, is also coming on Monday. So, we'll do a first impression on, on those when they come. Um, yeah. So, that's kind of exciting. Um, so, um, I wanted to show some knife designs that I've done recently. I haven't showed any for in a while. I've showed a couple on, uh, on Instagram and got a lot of the love on this one. This guy here, um, all, all these designs are not done, these are just sketches, um, honestly I don't really show the, the whole knife when it's done, um, for obvious reasons, but these are just like the sketches I've done, so this one, I really like how that one came out, um, came out super cool actually, um, shows all the specs down here, the steel, the scales, hardware, action, clip, blah blah blah. Um, this is another one that I did that I, I'm not too sure about this one. Um, I don't know. That's kind of cool. 
This is another one. I just did this one yesterday, actually. Have a couple different options on the scale. Um, I haven't filled in any of the materials or blade size or anything like that. This one, um, <clears throat> this one I actually did a couple different, uh, on the blade shape, I used, um, some aspects of the Picaroon Tools Maltineer, or Malt Maltineer, whatever it's called, um, the Spyderco Spyopera, and the Spyderco Capara. I kind of mixed all those up together, and that's what it turned out to be. And I think it looks kind of cool. I know it has a spidey hole. I tried, I don't know if you can see my race marks, but I tried other kind of holes on here and it all looked crappy. This looked the best. And since I used Spider Co's, I thought it was appropriate to do a Spidey hole on there. So, And that's Steel, ASP60. If you know, you know. That Steel is fantastic. I wish more companies used that, but they don't. This is another one I did. This one I really like too. Um... I really, so, I I saw, like, Custom Knife Maker do a bolster, like, a elongated weird bolster like this. But he just did it on the top, and I thought maybe on the bottom would be cool, too. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It, it looks kind of cool, but we'll see if that is included in the final design or not. This one, another Spidey Hole one. This one, I, uh... Used aspects of a lot of different knives on this. A lot of different knives. And on the tip here, I don't know if you can see, but I kind of did like a little hawk's beak. Like a very tiny, tiny, tiny one. Um, yeah, I really like this one too. That one I scratched. Oh, I didn't like it. There's another one I did. Um, I used the... Uh, so, the spider Coast Smock has this kind of weird cut out on the blade and I thought that that'd be kind of cool to to make bigger you know as like a finger choil to really choke up on it so I put that on there and that's it so yeah these are all sketches you know I maybe one day I'll get a knife made I mean I have like I think I have over 700 of these so <laughs> there's so many but yeah I just thought I'd show some sketches that I've done recently so so yeah, that's really about all I got for this video. Um, yeah, we'll do another one shortly. And uh, I need to do a lot of reviews. I have so many knives I haven't done reviews on. Um, You know what? Let's do another giveaway too, guys. So, yeah, should we? Yeah, why not? Let's do another giveaway. Um, so, uh, comment below and use the word... Uh... Hmm, what word should we use? Use the word, uh, refrigerator. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that, because then everyone would know. Use the word pry bar. Yeah, use the word pry bar in a sentence. Um, yeah, yeah. So down below in the comments, use the word pry bar in a sentence. And, uh, on the next video I do, um, actually, no, I'll, I'll let it go for about a week. And on the next video, or in a week, I'll do a video and I'll show you what you won. Um, I'll let you know it is going to be a Tucson. So, I'll just let you know that. So, yeah. So, use the word pry bar down below in the comments. In a sentence, don't make it too obvious. But, you know, just nonchalantly throw it in a sentence. And, uh, yeah, we'll pick a winner next week. Alright? Sounds good. Thanks for watching, guys. And, we'll uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.